Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Out of I'm playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we did, uh, Lothric Castle, or like, I'm sorry, the, the remainder of the Grand Archives and also the Twin Princes. Off camera I got, like, I transposed the Lothric's Holy Sword. I haven't upgraded quite yet, but let me go and show it off. It is this boy over here. And the special thing with this guy is that you can have Lothric's Holy Knight, Holy Light, sorry. Which I think if you do a strong attack, yep, then you do like a, then you do a releasing of the holy power in this thing or whatever. It also scales with faith again, but aside from that, it has like a, it has like a basic uh, scaling. Also, I haven't shown off the Godder Twin Swords though, like the move set. Move set is like this, but I have, I am not particularly a too big of a fan of two, of like dual wielding weapons. So, yeah. Also, Dark Sword, which I grinded for off camera, which has like a special strong attack. And with grinding, I mean kill one Dark Wraith, and I got it. <laughs> which was ridiculously lucky, and I'm not complaining one bit. Also, are there any other weapons that do more critical damage from all of the ones that I have? Uh, aside from the short sword? No, wow. That's insane. And in this episode, we're gonna go over to the. Uh, over to. The Arch Dragon Pig, there we go. <laughs> Which could be a very interesting experience. Oh boy. Dependent upon a, lo uh, upon a lot of things. Oh yeah, right. The Ancient Wyvern, woohoo. Now I could also just like, fight the enemies instead of running away from all of them. That is technically a thing that I could try to do. But the thing is, like, on the bridge, I can't fight the dude on the bridge. That's not happening. Hmm. I don't think I'm... I, like, I'm gonna try to run past everything again, but... If I really go absolutely insane, I might want to try... Doing it the way that it's intended. With the emphasis on I might. Whoopsie. I need to do this one. Path of the Dragon. Become one with a dragon. Look at me. <laughs> I don't look as much. Uh, uh, I don't look as much like Marth as I expected to be looking. I just fucked up making Marth ready. Well, fucked up. I was lazy. I didn't want to. Did, not particularly lazy. I just sometimes when I'm like when I start fumbling around with the face, I'm like. Mm. And then at the moment, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this looks fine. And then later, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> That doesn't really look that good. Because you will only know how your character looks from the moment that you start actually playing with it in-game. You little piece of shit. There we go. These guys can also parry you, by the way. FYI. Alright, let's go and... Block that shit. Oh, item. More life tight knight. Which I suppose could be useful, yes. Roll. Wow, I am so surprised that I actually managed it. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. There we go. Maybe I should go and rest at the bonfire. I did use one of my Estus. Well, for the Ancient Wyvern, hmm, I don't usually use that much Estus for the Ancient Wyvern. I guess we'll just see. That's the only thing I can say. I'll just have to pray that everything will go alright. Because otherwise I will become very annoyed. Actually, I've, I've also decided to like. I, I'm gonna show this off later on. You know, fuck no. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain and talk about this later on when we actually run into the enemy that the enemy in question that I'm trying to, that I want to talk about. What the hell? I have no idea how I got hit by one of their by one of their attacks actually. 
Because they did it really, really quickly then. Launching out his neck. Gotta wait for my stamina to be full before I do this run. See you later, buddy. Now let's hope that I don't miss the attack. Hmm? Cause that would suck quite a lot. There we go. I've also noticed that it doesn't matter how much... Um, like how much critical increasing things that you equip you will always do the same amount of damage to the to the ancient wyvern i think when you do the plunging attack that is would suck quite a lot if you didn't do like if you didn't do a lot of damage to him with that plunging attack Let's go and level up. To increase my stamina even further beyond. There you go. I still think that a reinforcement gem would have probably been better before for this weapon. Actually, I don't remember the base scaling from the uh, the Lothric Knight sword. I can look that stuff up, by the way, I think. So I think I'll do that once I'm done with uh, the Name King. Or at least I'll try to remember doing that. Because now that I'm thinking about it, that might actually be, like, the better way to... Like, if I can... If I can very easily see a certain... Uh, like, how certain weapons are going to turn out... Then I do think I'm gonna go and try to uh, look it up like that and then just explain it to you guys instead of painstakingly upgrading the weapons myself. God damn it. God damn. Come on, dude. There we go. 720. That was nice. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. They see me rolling in. They maybe not particularly hating. Get it, buddy. Let me go block. <laughs> Gotta use that shield, yo. Right, I'm gonna get rid of that shield. I actually find it quite funny, like how ragdolly the enemies become when you when you hit them in a critical hit. Because it doesn't really look like they react too hard on it, if you know what I mean. It's not like they like <laughs> like do the scream, or whatever. They only do the scream for the moment that they that they lie on the ground and die. <laughs> I think that the um, the black knights you do hear a scream for noise, right? Like not a scream, but like a grunt when you stab them like that. I don't remember actually. Oh well, doesn't matter too much. Gotta get myself that twinkling tight knights and tight knight scales. How many do I have of those actually? I have thirty-one tight knight scales right now. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Okay, you, get over here. I'm gonna go and roll this way. And avoid the buggers. Okay, so this wyvern over here, that does like the drive by fire. I killed, you can actually kill this guy. It takes a long time, it takes a lot of damage. But you can kill him, and you can get yourself some titanites. So just some titanite in general, I think. Titanite chunks, titanite uh, scales, and twinkling, I think. 
but it takes a long time and it's really annoying because that enemy does not have like its hitboxes are just stupid they they make literally no sense so i wouldn't recommend fighting him but you could if you want to you can also get some titan from it so i suppose that's something Let me go and rest at the bonfire. So now, um, I th hmm, am I gonna get the dragon chase slashes then? You know what? I think I'm gonna go and not get the dragon chase slashes right now. I'm gonna figure the stuff out off camera, like the the whole thing of figuring out which weapons will or like. I'm sorry, just looking up to see if I can find information about how good a weapon can become. Depending on certain scaling. <sighs> You're such a trash enemy, I swear to god. There we go. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do, I think. Because if I, like, I mean it, if I can avoid not having to grind all the freaking Titanites, that'd be really nice. Because it's a pain in the ass. It's a real big pain in the arse. And I would rather not to do it if I can avoid it. I'm going to stab you in the arse. And then do another slash. A Swiss set of flick. Wing God, you love your song. Can I kick you? <laughs> yes, but it's not going to... It's not gonna have the desired effect because you have a million freaking stamina. Oh boy. There we go. Not really doing that much damage to him, but it's half all the rock. He's always gonna be beefy. I'm happy enough that this strategy keeps on working. <laughs> Do you see the amount of stamina he has, by the way? Like, did you see how, man, did you see how much attacks he did? Yeah. That's have all the rock in this game for you. As unlimited stamina. Well, not unlimited, but a lot of it in any case. Let's go and stop him from doing his shit. Because that would be quite annoying to me. Ah, well. I'm here now anyway. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus. And, yeah. <laughs> he also t tends to like blocking with his dragon, too. Which just ends up killing him. And it makes it so that I can get the Titan that's that. And I guess also these things, but meh. Don't care too much about those. Right, time to deal with the Nameless King, which is a fun battle, actually. I very much like the Nameless King. Ah, yes, another thing that I'm going to do off camera is grind to the enemy that's back there. They can draw the Medican Staff, which I will have to trade in with the Crows to get, a, to get my final shield. From the regular game, that is. Because there's also still some shields I have to go and get in uh, Ashavarian though. Which is going to be a real big pain in the ass because... I need to go out of my way in a major way. Like, yeah. At least it's it's going to be one of the final things I'm supposed to collect in the Ashavarian though DLC, so... If anything, I can find something positive in it in any case. That it is the final one that I'm supposed to do, I think. God damn it. Damn the ball. Nice suit. That's not gonna kill him, but... It's gonna do a lot of damage. Which I think in the end is the most important part. And whoop. Yeah, that, that attack is really difficult to avoid in my opinion. Right. 
Here comes the wind. And another one of those. Alright. Time for battle. <laughs> As he proceeds to miss an attack. Oh, that's gonna hit me, yep. Just gonna wait for an opportunity. And roll. That was an early roll. But I was just out of... God damn. It was just good. Just barely acceptable by the game. Perfect time to heal. Damn it. Did not expect him to do that again. There comes that attack. And a roll. Ha, <laughs> nice. Stopped him before he could do the thing. Okay, let's go and heal up again. Try to avoid doing roll attacks. Because they're not particularly good. Oh boy. A lightning bolt. Oh crap. Got dead by the AoE. No. That was bad. That was not particularly a good situation. Okay. One and two. And nice. Oh. And you're done, buddy. Also, if you're wondering, most of the time when I'm doing boss battles, I don't look at the HP bar. I don't pay attention to that stuff. Because it's like... In, in the beginning, I, I look a little bit at it to see how much damage I'm doing, to see how long it will take. But aside from that, I don't. I don't pay attention to the health bar. That's why I'm also like... At, at certain moments, you might, you might think like, oh, you only have to do one more attack, so you might as well do like a rolling attack or whatever. Instead of doing your normal uh, shenanigans to finish them off fast. But that is usually where you go wrong, I'd say. Like if you notice, like, oh crap, he's almost dead, I can finish him off maybe. And then you start doing reckless shit, and then you die. <laughs> then you start to get cocky, as some people would say. And then you die. Alright. Let me go and level up again. Get more freaking stamina. Alright, people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of this. I was playing Dark Souls 3 at the Weapon Plages. And the uh, next episode, well, I'm gonna off camera grind for the Medican Staff. I'm also gonna look up to see if I can find some good information on weapons. And then we'll just see how it goes from there. If I can't find any good information on weapons, then I will. Uh, then I'll probably be grinding some more Titanite off camera. And upgrading all of these weapons to. They're almost maximum level. So yeah, goodbye.